Good morning, I'm State Representative Dan Swanson of Alpha, Illinois. I represent the 74th District, uh, extends from the city of New Boston at the Mississippi River over to Princeton, Illinois, and then from way up north in Lee County down to southern parts of Knox County, quite a diverse district. At the beginning of this week, I was joined by several colleagues to call for immediate hearings into the gross negligence at the LaSalle Veterans Home that led to the deaths of 36 of our nation's heroes. As I told you then, as a veteran of the U.S. Army, the Illinois Army National Guard, and former superintendent of the Henry County Veterans Assistance Commission, calling, caring for our veterans is one of the most important charges we have in public service. The executive branch utterly abdicated their responsibility in how it handled the COVID-19 outbreak at LaSalle as evidenced by the Inspector General report. As you can see, the Inspector General report is dated April 26, 2012, and I'm going to talk a little bit more about that here. Uh, those of you who want to read it and do some of your own research, um, apparently it's too hard to find uh, just by going to any of the websites. So I Googled it and was able to find a copy. This is one that was sent out at the same time they were sent to our press. The governor, Director Chaplavia, and the entire chain of command failed our veterans and their families. It is clear that we must dig deeper into this matter. IDVA, IDPH, and the governor's office must testify before the Veterans Affairs Committee so the full scope of these failures and any criminal or civil accountability can be determined. Yet this week, when we passed, yet this week, when all we passed were resolutions that saw a very short time on the floor, no hearings were scheduled to look into this. We're at almost on the second week since this report came out. Yesterday, Veterans Affairs Committee Chairperson Stephanie Kiffelwood and I also sent a letter to Speaker Welch calling for the committee, and that's the Veterans Committee, to be expanded so we can get to the bottom of this failure. Currently, there are two Republicans and five Democrats on that committee. We've asked for growth up to five Republicans and six Democrats. So we can continue on with our investigation into this matter. We cannot wait another week for action. Inaction does not solve problems. Every day we delay could endanger more lives. Actions need to be taken to get to the bottom of this grossly negligent failure and ensure it does not happen again. Our heroes and their families deserve nothing less.